Dear audience, in today's presentation, we will delve into an exploration of the principles and construction of a simple encoder, employing basic logic gates as our building blocks. A digital encoder is a component or circuit designed to transform an input signal or data into a digital form. It usually converts analog or continuous data into a digital representation made up of binary digits, bits, which are comprised of zeros and ones. Digital encoders find extensive use in a variety of applications that require accurate and discrete data representation. Binary encoder A binary encoder is a fundamental digital encoder that translates one of several input lines into a binary code. For instance, a 4 to 2 binary encoder accepts four input lines and generates a 2 bit binary output, signifying the active input line. In this configuration, there are 10 switches serving as inputs, each labeled from 0 to 9. One side of all the switches is connected to a positive 5 volt source. The other ends of the lines are connected only when a switch is pressed. The switches depicted here are of the press to on type. In the current state, switch 0 is pressed, causing the line on the other side of the switch to carry a logic 1. However, since the binary output for decimal 0 is represented as 0000 in a 4-bit format, there is no need to connect anything to the OR gates in this case. Therefore, when switch number 0 is pressed, the output remains 000. When switch 1 is pressed, it activates the line on the opposite side of the switch, transmitting a logic 1. However, as the binary representation of decimal 1 is 0001 in a 4-bit format, the OR gate with its output labeled as input A is connected to the switch marked as 1. Consequently, when switch number 1 is pressed, the output changes to 0001. Now when switch 2 is pressed, it activates the line on the opposite side of the switch, transmitting a logic 1. However, as the binary representation of decimal 2 is 0010 in a 4-bit format, the OR gate with its output labeled as input B is connected to the switch marked as 2. Consequently, when switch number 2 is pressed, the output changes to 0010. Similarly, when switch 3 is pressed, it activates the line on the opposite side of the switch, transmitting a logic 1. However, as the binary representation of decimal 3 is 0011 in a 4-bit format, the OR gate with its output labeled as input A and B are connected to the switch marked as 3. Consequently, when switch number 3 is pressed, the output changes to 0011. Similarly, when switch 4 is pressed, it activates the line on the opposite side of the switch, transmitting a logic 1. However, as the binary representation of decimal 4 is 0100 in a 4-bit format, the OR gate with its output labeled as input C is connected to the switch marked as 3. Consequently, when switch number 4 is pressed, the output changes to 0100. In a similar fashion when switch 5 is pressed, it activates the line on the opposite side of the switch, transmitting a logic 1. However, as the binary representation of decimal 5 is 0101 in a 4-bit format, the OR gate with its output labeled as input C and A are connected to the switch marked as 5. Consequently, when switch number 5 is pressed, the output changes to 0101. Now, suppose we press switch 6, causing it to activate the line on the other side of the switch, resulting in a logic 1. However, given that the binary representation of decimal 6 is 0110 in a 4-bit format, 
The OR gates with their outputs labeled as input C and B are connected to the switch marked as 6. As a result, when switch number 6 is pressed, the output transforms into 0110. Now, suppose we press switch 7, causing it to activate the line on the other side of the switch, resulting in a logic 1. However, given that the binary representation of decimal 7 is 0111 in a 4-bit format, the OR gates with their outputs labeled as input C, B, and A are connected to the switch marked as 7. As a result, when switch number 7 is pressed, the output transforms into 0111. Now, consider the scenario where switch 8 is pressed, leading to the activation of the line on the opposite side of the switch and generating a logic 1. However, because the binary representation of decimal 8 is 1000 in a 4-bit format, the OR gates with their outputs labeled as input D are linked to the switch marked as 8. Consequently, when switch number 8 is pressed, the output changes to 1000. Let's consider the case where we press switch 9, leading to the activation of the line on the opposite side of the switch and generating a logic 1. However, because the binary representation of decimal 9 is 1001 in a 4-bit format, the OR gates with their outputs labeled as input D and A are linked to the switch marked as 9. Consequently, when switch number 9 is pressed, the output changes to 1001. We can now see the complete logical circuit diagram of a decimal to binary encoder. In this diagram we have our logic gates each having output denoted by A, B, C and D. To conclude, in today's lecture, we have examined the logical circuit diagram of a decimal to binary encoder, including its operation and truth table. The process of constructing the encoder was presented in a systematic, step-by-step -step manner, and visual aids were used to enhance understanding. We extend our heartfelt gratitude for tuning in to this lecture. To explore more captivating technical and educational content, please stay connected with our channel. Don't forget to share and subscribe to iNet Tech Talk, as your support truly means the world to us.